So, according to research that was conducted in 2020, the Filipinos have the highest rate of sleep deprivation in Asia. About 46% do not get enough sleep, while 32% sleep less than six hours. There are four major health concerns that are directly affected by lack of sleep. Number one, it worsens the symptoms of depression. Number two, it increases the incidence of fatal accidents. Number three, it leads to heart disease, hypertension, and diabetes. And number four, it decreases work productivity. So again, good afternoon. My name is Lumen Tamayo, and this afternoon, I will be sharing with you five important tips on how to stay healthy, both physically and mentally during this pandemic. So I have interviewed 30 millennial mothers, ages 35 to 45 years old, and asked them, what are their top three concerns? And one of the glaring discoveries is they are concerned about their physical and mental health. Kaya naman, I thought that this afternoon we are going to talk about this very pressing topic. Of course, tumataas na naman ang cases ng COVID-19. So lahat tayo medyo nawiwindang-windang na naman. Okay, so again, I introduce myself. I'm Lumen Tamayo, your devoted planner from Insular Life. And I help millennial mothers who believe that being prepared in times of crisis is important in order to build their family's future. From feeling anxious and not in control to being confident and financially responsible by learning how to manage their household, manage their time in balancing their role as a mother and working from home so that they can remain healthy and sane in helping their partners build their family's future. Over the past three years, I've helped more than 30 individuals who are in search of ways on how to be on track with their family's goal of achieving a sustainable financial plan. By getting a life insurance with a dreaded disease rider, they are confident and with peace of mind that they can get critically, that when they get critically ill, they don't have they don't have enough funds to use for their medical treatment so that they, they don't need to be in debt or even beg from family and friends, giving them that sense of fulfillment and peace of mind that they can take care of themselves. And they all they think about is getting better. So it is my intention that after this session, I will be asking you to answer my simple survey, which aims to gather information that will help me create more meaningful content for all of you who are very um, devoted in joining me every Sunday. Okay, so let's now proceed. This pandemic has brought so many changes in our lives, such that, such that one of the major impact is on our health and when i talk about health we do not only mean physical health but we are also referring to our mental health or psychological health minsan nga mas malala pang epekto nito sa atin mentally for example now that the cases of covid-19 is increasing again even worse than how we experienced it last year mas lalo tayong napapraning isn't it because i am experiencing this kind of uh, mental health issue. So now let's dive deep into five major tips on how to stay healthy during this pandemic. Let's proceed. Number one, tip number one, get enough sleep. Kaya kanina sinimulan ko yung aking topic about sleep deprivation. According to the many research that I have read, getting enough sleep may vary from person to person. Some can sleep less than six hours and still feel energized the following day, but others need to sleep seven to eight hours in order for them to feel rejuvenated upon waking up. Personally, I have to sleep at least seven hours in order for me to feel rejuvenated the following day. Otherwise, I will feel sluggish and be unproductive for the entire day. And ayaw na ayaw ko yun. Yung pag wake up ko kasi, gusto ko ready na ako to go. I take naps. But ayaw ko yung pakagising, feeling ko sluggish o kaya naman parang low energy. Gusto ko laging high energy because highest energy wins. Now, I know of people who sleep less than six hours and still they are so energized. 
amazing, de ba? I have a personal friend. She confesses that she only sleeps at four hours, pero okay siya. And when she oversleeps, sometimes dun pa siya mas inaantok. Nakakatuwa, pero for her, totoo yun. In one of the talk shows that I have watched recently, they have a guest doctor who specializes in sleep disorders. Kasi yung topic nila about sleep disorders. And according to this doctor, the only way you will know if you have enough sleep is when you feel energized and you have a sharp mind the following day. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka masungit o kaya naman hindi ka antok-antok while doing your tasks. But what is another reason why it is important to get enough sleep? Not only because we don't feel energized the following day. All right. Who among you here have heard that it is during a specific period of time at night when your body completely rejuvenates? Ibig sabihin, yung mga organs natin nagre-regenerate yan during the night while we sleep. And the peak hour is from 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. I know personally that Kidney regenerates during this time. Our heart, our brains, our liver, almost all of the organs regenerate during this time. That's why it's important that we catch that time. And what if you sleep na ng 12 midnight? You only have three hours to regenerate your organs. Because really, really, this means that in order for us to stay healthy and to battle, this is very important. To battle any kind of diseases, we have to sleep between this time and get as much sleep as you possibly can. Diba? At meron pa tong bonus, of course. You are giving your skin a favor when you sleep early. You will look much younger than your real age when you give your body the much-needed rest and sleep that it needs. And of course, you're also giving your mind a big favor when you sleep because you are resting it from thinking. Diba syempre during the day, ang dami-dami man ang iniisip. So sa gabi, yun yung panahon na nakakapahinga yung ating mga isipan. So pag hindi tayo nakakuha ng enough sleep, yung isip natin, takbo lang siya ng takbo. Diba nakakapagod yun? Okay, let's now move on to tip number two. Eat healthy. Eating healthy to me means having a balanced diet. What does it mean? It means a good variety of fruits, vegetables, lean meat, dairy, and grains. It also means that you eat on time or not skip a meal at all. Alam nyo ba that if you skip a meal, especially yung breakfast nyo, lalo kayong gugutumin, tapos you don't produce, uh, you don't become productive during the first morning, and then you will feel sluggish. Tapos by the time that you want to eat already, sobrang gutom na gutom ka na. Of course, it's different if you're doing IF or intermittent fasting, no? Meron din mga condition na hindi pwedeng mag-intermittent fasting. But for those of you who want to lose weight, that is one recommended um, strategy by the doctors. Because my husband was given that prescription by his cardiologist. And so he was able to lose, I think, more than 5 kilos just by doing intermittent fasting. But if you're not, if let's say you're in good shape anyway, you don't need to um, skip a meal. Again, this is depending on your own body. Lately, I've been noticing that my appetite picks up at lunch till evening. But luckily, hindi naman ako nagigain ng weight kahit na mas marami akong kinakain during night time. I guess because I couple it with some activities during the day. Again, according to research that I have read, it, it really depends on how your body processes the food that you eat. And of course, it is also highly dependent on what is your age and what specific medical condition you have. As I have mentioned, for those who'd like to um, lose weight and are healthy at the peak of their health, it's okay to do intermittent fasting. But if you're diabetic like me, I don't think eating or doing an intermittent fasting is something that you can do because baka mag-drop yung sugar mo. Okay, so as I've already mentioned, I am diabetic. So definitely, I refrain from eating sweets. Or let me rephrase that, sugary foods and simple carbohydrates. But I have to share that I eat more than three times a day. I actually eat 
several frequent meals during the day in order to sustain my energy. So before I went on my live, I have to eat something so that it will keep my energy high and engage with everyone. But of course, I'm very choosy when it comes to the food that I, that I eat. You see, I live with three boys, only uh, the queen among the boys in my life. Ang diet nila is different from mine. They are carnivores, so they love to eat meat. However, since I cannot devour too much of the meat, I make it a point to have fish that is cooked with less oil. So important ito for me, lalo na. So there are times that I will only eat um, uh, grilled fish with coupled with vegetables. And also, um, I also take meat, no, like chicken and pork. But as much as possible, I avoid yung mga deep fried food. Okay? La so again, I make it a point to have vegetable dish in every meal, kahit na simpleng vegetable lang, like ginisang kangkong, gisadong sayote, ampalaya. But yesterday, or the other day, I think, I made a treat out of cauliflower and potato. And I made a potato cauliflower au gratin. Kasi para maingganyo ko yung mga anak ko na kumain ng potato. I put some cheese and some sauce in it. Let's move on to tip number three. Staying healthy mentally and physically to me means I need to meditate. No, um, you may opt to do your meditation during the day or at nighttime or before starting anything upon waking up. In my case, I do my meditation upon waking up. I call this my grounding wherein I set my intentions for the day and list down all the goals that I need to accomplish during the day and a very good amount of time talking to the Lord. So this is my meditation time, my quiet time or my prayer time but this is not the only time that i do my med meditation in fact there are several instances during the day that i take a break and just for five minutes i keep quiet and then i close my eyes and it helps me bounce back to whatever i need to accomplish for the day and for all i know i am more energized and focused Okay, some of you may find it difficult to take a break, especially those who are super engrossed with whatever you're doing. But let me, let me mind you, please just try it, try it. And for all you know, after noon, you will be more energized and rejuvenated. Actually, may isang tinuro yung coach ko sa akin about this. Ano. He calls it intentional pause during the day. Wherein you will find an activity, your usual activity during the day, where you can just pause and be completely present. It may be, it can already be a form of meditation. So for me, ang mga intentional pauses ko, taking a bath, all right, and then putting on my makeup. It's like nobody else can disturb me. I'm so focused, you know, in, in putting on my makeup and also washing my hands. So the ba, we are required to wash our hands at least 20 seconds. So talagang ninanamnam ko yun, yeah, ninanamnam ko every how do I call it? Every time that I wipe my hand, I rub it gently. Of course, I had to close the faucet, no? Para naman hindi gushing yung water. Soaping it really, really um, uh, intentionally para alam ko na malinis sa malinis yung kamay ko. No, there is no better way to start your day than to spend it with the Lord. That is the time when sobrang rutinary, pero... It is so um, helpful for me, especially I, I just sit here where I, my table and then I prepare my, uh, I actually don't read, but I have an audio Bible, no? Kasi mas, mas ninanam nam ko siya pag pinapakinggan ko. I close my eyes and just meditate. And then I write my journal. So again, no? For all of those who are having difficulty to take a break, during the day, it try nyo lang. Just try it. Malay nyo maging fresh and mas um, energized kayo after kayo makapag-meditate and you will become more productive. 
di ba? Additional tip around this, you can also use music or simply close your eyes and pray. Prayer, of course, is another form of meditation. Or you can also do visualization or siguro mas familiar kayo sa imagination. Parang high school lang yan, di ba? <clears throat> Excuse me. Daydreaming ang peg natin pag high school or um, we think about our future. So that is what is my simple definition definition of visualization. All right. Let's now move on to tip number four is exercise. You know, I used to love walking in the park before the pandemic. Kaya lang ngayon, I prefer to do my exercise indoor. Kasi syempre, di ba, nakakaparining pag lumalabas ka. So I follow a certain thought leader when it comes to performing all kinds of simple exercises that are appropriate for my age. Pero syempre, hindi ko na i-reveal kung anong age ako. But then again, um, I've been sharing her her videos to a lot of my friends because I find her exercise routine simple. Quick lang, mga five minute pero grabe, hindi ka magsisweat, pero grabe naman because I'm, for my age, I have to do a lot of toning. So yung mga arm exercises niya, tsaka yung mga exercises niya for the tummy and for my legs and glutes talaga namang afternoon, they're really burning. Kaya um, medyo kailangan ako mag-recover afternoon. No? Pero hindi ko naman kailangan minom ng pain reliever. So they're very um, effective for me. So depending on your age, you can choose from high-impact cardio or high-impact yoga if you prefer yoga or low-impact exercises. Basta mahalaga, galaw-galaw pag may time para hindi kayo masistro. Also, it's very important to do stretching in between your activity. Especially yung mga tao talaga na moms who are work from home, di ba? Minsan buong araw talaga mega type, 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 type. Or Zoom, a lot of those that I've interviewed said na zoom fatigue na sila. But if you take breaks in between, I do my stretching every five minutes, you know. Um, it helps. It helps. So siguro at this point, let's just do um, a quick, quick stretching. I'll share with you a very quick share. Share, uh, they call this stretching. I hope you can see me on video. All right. So I want you, come on, everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. All right. With energy. And I want you to raise your hands nice and high, nice and high. And I want to you to grow as you go this way uh, and the other way. Uh, and then you stretch forward. Mm, and then stretch your back. If you can reach your toes better. Uh, okay. Diba? Simple stretching lang yan. Pero it will really, really um, help you go back with a vengeance for your work. All right. So work from home moms, especially those who find it hard or who rather think that it's a waste of time to pause and stop. Believe me. By doing simple stretching in between, you will experience less pain and body aches. Alam ko to because ako sobrang dami ko mga aches and pains. Alam to ng mga friends ko, yung mga meeting ko early morning. I always have these shoulder pads, heating pad, because, you know, meron akong frozen shoulders. But by doing regular stretching, nababawasan siya. Hindi ko na kailangan uminom ng pain reliever ng madalas. Okay? So, also, I make it a point to take a break every two hours. Kaya lang sometimes hindi talaga pwede kasi kung may mahabang Zoom meeting or webinars. But in between, I just close my eyes, I close my camera, and just take a break. Lalo na kung masakit na yung ulo ko, di ba? I don't think it's bad to take a break even in between that. Alright? And of course, the five-minute stretching to recharge. And I'm ready again to do whatever it takes to complete my task. Kaya naman, I will all ask you to try it out. Do the stretching that I've said or your simple neck exercises. Okay. So I hope you were recharged after that stretching. Moving on to our last tip. Tip number five. So for tip number five, stay connected. In order for us to stay healthy, mind in mind and body, 
physically, mentally, psychologically during this time of pandemic, we need to stay connected with friends, family, and relatives. It may be counterintuitive during this time because sabi mo nga, di ba, bawal lang lumabas and we're all prescribed to stay at home to help the country recover from the many cases of COVID. But staying connected doesn't mean that you have to go out. So share ko na, just last night, I stay connected in one of the groups or communities that I have had the blessing this past year, my Manifesting Magic community. So shout out to Miss Tin Cabrera, who is our leader of this group. I hope she's here with me. All right, so ano ba yung ginawa namin last night? First, we thought of having a theme. Ang theme namin is... Beach attire. Bakit? Kasi syempre lahat kami miss na naming mag-beach, no? But since we cannot go out, we just thought of wearing our sexy or, you know, very comfortable beach attire. And then we ate together. Tapos we had a game. Okay, ano yung game namin? Nag-charades lang kami. And all of us had so much fun that after our session, medyo nahirapan akong makatulog kasi nag-wind down pa ako. No? Pero sobrang saya lang kasi tawa lang kami ng tawa. You know, we are going crazy and just laughing our hearts out. Diba? And enjoying one another's company. Online. Alright? So again, in summary, let's go back. What are the five tips that I've shared that I am personally applying in my life that I I really believe are working and I hope you see that also. Now, number one is I get enough sleep. Again, as I mentioned, getting enough sleep depends on your body. So medyo titimplahin nyo lang yung katawan nyo. But the metric is if you are energized, you can Go on with your day without being cranky, masungit, suplada, sinusungita ng asawa, pinapagalitan ng anak, or staying focused and sharp. Then, even if you're not getting eight hours of sleep, you are getting enough sleep. Number two, eating healthy. Again, your own definition. As long as you're not gaining too much weight, as long as your blood pressure is not rising or your blood sugar is going haywire, then I think you're on the right track. And of course, getting, and your skin, syempre makikita yun, sabi nila, a healthy system results to a healthy glowing skin. All right? Number three um, is exercise. All right? Exercise is very important. It doesn't need to be gym type of exercise. Kahit simple stretching lang, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, that is all aerobics, that's already enough. All right? And number four, meditate. Meditate is very important to keep our sanity intact para again, hindi rin tayo masyadong nagsusungit during the day. And lastly, staying connected. All right. So I hope all of you were able to get something out of my sharing. This has been your mom, Shilumen, saying see you next time. Bye-bye.